Hey, what's up guys? My name is Whitney. You're watching the Witster channel. And today we're doing episode number two of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to the Witster, everybody. Well, we did it. We made it. We made it through our very first episode, uh, not only to Tears of the Kingdom, but also the very first premiere episode of the Witster channel. And so we hope you enjoyed it and hope you stick with us for a while. And uh, playing this game, I loved every single minute of it so far. There were so many questions that came up early on in this game, and I wanted to savor it all. And that's what this playthrough is going to be about. Um, I just didn't want to rush through this game. I want to take my time. This is such a huge game. It is massive, even more massive than Breath of the Wild. I love playing Breath of the Wild. I love the storylines in there. And I know this is just going to be uh, even better on top of that. And so um, uh, I wanted to learn every single nook and cranny of this game. And so that's what we're going to do. And so, But before we get started, what I want to do, just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I am a father of three girls and a husband to a wonderful wife. And um, so I am very much outnumbered with women in my life, in, with women in my family. Um, and I also work a full-time job at the hospital. And I'm also an avid uh, road cyclist and a mountain biker. Love getting out on the trails, love getting out on the open road uh, and just cruising, having lots of fun. But I also love uh, coming home off my shift, uh, off my bike, just vegging out on the couch, pulling up a video game and just play some video games. And so uh, that's what I do to, to help me relax. And not only do I play, but my girls play with me as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, you're going to meet my youngest daughter today. Her name's Emmy. Uh, she's just as big a fan of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom or any Zelda game for that matter as I am. And so she's going to sit in on with us. Um, and a couple of my girls join us throughout the series as, as we play. And so it's fun to kind of get their commentary and intake. Um, and so we're really excited to have them. You'll get to meet them and know them a little bit more. But it's, it's fun to play with them. And we're actually going to start to play some games together and hopefully pull some of those games on here as well. But... Uh, like I said, love this game. Uh, we're going to pick this back up. We finished our two, shrine, two shrines uh, before. Uh, see where we can get. Hopefully get off the Great Sky Island today. So um, if you're enjoying these videos so far, the whole two that have been uh, placed out, there's plenty more coming your way. Um, so consider liking, subscribing, um, and we'll get these videos posted as soon as we can. Uh, I have this whole series ready to go. So we hope you enjoy it, and so without further ado, let's get into it, and here's episode number two, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. You can't see her, she's off camera, but I've got daughter Emmy here. Put your hand in, say hey. Hi. There she is, so she's going to watch us play Tears of the Kingdom here together. So uh, last time we uh, discovered all about the Zonai from Princess Zelda, and then uh, the Demon King, whoever that is. What else did we find out? Um, we found out that Link has a new arm, um, and we're searching some shrines right now. We did two shrines. Uh, we got to do one more, uh, at least one more. Um, so we're going to go find it out. We got the... Uh, technique Ultra Hand and Fuse. So we're fusing a lot of arrows and weapons and building lots of stuff. You got Fuse? Yeah, I'm still on the shine of it though. Yep, very good. So let's dive right into it. Here we go. And we also discovered that it was very Yeah. Can you hear it on the TV? Yep. Okay. I've got the ear holes in. Or the ear phones for my ear holes <laughs> so okay I've got two light essence ball things like the spirit orbs check out my sword it's a rock sword and my shield 
There we go. I have a rock on my shield. Fused it together. Okay. So we did this shrine here. Let's take a look at our map. So we did that shrine and this shrine. The last one is right up here. So we got to work our way over that way. But this contract, contract, construct steward was telling us about another technique. I can't remember what he said. Let's, let's go talk to him. What I've just given you is an energy cell. Oh yes, he gave me an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. Okay. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. Okay, so we're going to head towards that cave system. Look, there's two constructs we need to go fight down there in the corner. They can teach you how to use this. Okay. What do we got? There's all my weapons. These ones are good. See how it says steward construct? So they teach us how to do things, but they're soldier constructs. So you can fight the soldier ones. Just don't fight these good ones here. All right, here we go. Boom! Nice. So, we use some fuse techniques, so I wonder, okay, we want to use fuse, hmm, got to figure out, um, to refuse the log. So we want to fuse the wooden <laughs> stick. Haha. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Let's go over to this cave system over here. Uh oh, there's some choo choos. Should we watch them battle? What other weapons do I have? So can I fuse? Because I want to do this, but then I want to drop. Hold. Drop. Fuse. Check it out. So I just fused my construct. I don't know if that's the best, easiest way to do it. Got him. It's my f first choo-choo jelly. Nice. I don't know. You think of it hard. What? Yep, that's the soldier constructs. You can fight those. There's gotta be a faster way to fuse this stuff. Ooh, I should. Ooh, he's gonna blow me off. One hit, he's dead. Cool's that. I am smart. Uh oh. Ooh, 
Ooh, I can do a flurry rush. Build the car. Okay. Oh, that away. This away. And then, wasn't there something? I think there was something you can. Oh. Ultra hand infused. That's all I have. You have an amiibo too? Okay. It's on in this cave system here. So on the other side, it's going to be right here somewhere. And then we can work our way over, see if we can find some warmer clothes or find a way to... Ooh, it's a discovery. Pondside Cave. Bright bloom seed, a seed that's often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will take root and blue getting off faint light from a small flower. Fuse attack power. Okay. Wow, I don't know. I gotta start learning all of this, all this stuff. There's so much stuff to figure out. Uh, yep, that's right. There's a key side ball. What that is. Need something more substantial. Flint. First flint of the game. What is this dude here? Go, go, go. I don't know if he's good or bad. Oh, it's one of those things. A bubble gem, a strange crystal left by defeated bub bullfrogs, bubba bullfrogs, bub bullfrogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Nice. Yeah. <gasps> Archaic tunic, I found the shirt. Should we put it on? Nice. Just the skirt. Giant bright bloom seed, a seed that's found underground when struck, it will take root and bloom, radiating a large amount of light from a big flower. Should we try it? I need to bash this in, so I need to fuse. Uh, oh, I have that. Well, then I can... There we go. So rocks can beat rocks. Oh, there's a ruby! Fuse attack power. So then you can use these flints and rubies and all these gems to uh, attach to all your weapons. Amber will take. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Let's keep cruising through. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, is that a discovery? That's the discovery. Ponsive Cave. 
So that's a new one. That's where we're at right now. I think this is where we started from. Um, then we jumped off, maybe? Yeah, we jumped off. Um, anyways, look how big the map is. There's all these sky islands. This is all of Hyrule, I think. So they made the boundaries different. Sakala, Zora. Yes, there is. Ooh, this way? Or, no, that's the way I just came from, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Here we go. There's Raru. I know this place. This is from the trailer the guy played, wasn't it? Those are the Zonai devices. Let's talk them up. It's a maker construct. The rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Zonai devices? Ah, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. I do not. Please tell me. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. These green, this green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitudinousness purposes. Using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. That is a relief. Very cool. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. Yes, please refresh me about it. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Um... Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Okay. What? Oh, yeah. That's true. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out at inopportune moments. Okay. So... We got to be mindful. Pardon the long explanation does not change our need for a raft. Zonai devices. Uh oh, here's Tatum. We need to talk to Tatum for a second. Hold that thought. Okay, false alarm. That was Tatum, my daughter, just butt dialing me. She dials me with her butt. That crazy. All right, where were we? Zonai devices, they're extremely useful. Think creatively, and you will find many ways to employ them. Okay, awesome. What about you guys? The rafts are broken. The Zonai device will be useless until they are fixed. So as we employ... Yes, we just... Did all of that. Raru! What's up, dude? Mm. Talk to me. The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs. Oh, wow, there's all sorts of kind of constructs. You'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Oh, really? Little AI, huh? Hmm. Little AI taken over. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. Will do, Raru. Nice day. Okay, so that destroy my... Um... Broadsword. No, we need to use... Nice weapons here. I need a rock. Stamina. Yep. Let's go see what's over here. There's Ultra Hand. So 
all of this stuff I can ultra hand use together. There's a rock. Um, let's fuse it to this. So we need fuse. And there's a there's a rock. Ooh. Oh yeah. So we can put all those together. Is that a, I think these are Zonai devices. So once we get the paraglider, then we can hit it. And then these will start and they'll blow us up in the air. So Uh, I don't know. We haven't figured that out yet, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep rolling. I guess so. Yeah, we haven't learned that part yet. I guess we don't even have the Sheikah slate anymore. We have Pura's pad. I think I can just swim over there. I doubt it. All right, should we build a raft? Okay, so I need Ultra Hand. So let's put that. Uh, should we do it how they did it in the game? Attach that. Let's attach that. Um, we did this, so we need to rotate it, so you hold down R, and you can just click it once, you, know, you click once, and then it rotates it, or you can go left and right, do, do, do. okay, so that's the fan, I think. We need to put it like that, maybe. There, let's rotate it. Click, click. And attach. Is that it? Do we do it? Let's go hit these barrels. Ooh, it's a sky shroom. What? That's really fun new abilities, huh? We need to get another microphone so you can talk with us, huh? Here, let's try this. Pause this for a second. We're gonna pause this on the game. Okay, we did some adjustments on the microphone. So hopefully Emmy can kind of talk to us now, so. Yay. Here we go. All right, let's go use our new boat here. In this, in this game, um, when I got out uh, of a shrine, my first shrine, then there was a beautiful sunset. Oh yeah. Should we add another fan just for fun? Yes. Oh. Ah, we may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for your use. All right, hey. you can take those. Hey. Who's the savers here? Hello. Hello. All right, let's go right over there. And that way, hey. jump. And hit. There we go. I can't wait till off. we get the ceiling. I know, right? So we shut it off, then we'll recharge. Oh, oh, it crashed. 
Nice. Nice. What is this? A stam bulb. It's a fuse attack. Oh, one a fuse attack power. Well plant with bulging roots, often found in cooler climates. It contains nutrients that increases endurance. So it increases your stamina. I I have lots of those. Yeah. All these stand bulbs. What kind of construct do you think this is? It's a ranger construct. Oh. Man, there's all sorts of constructs here. Oh, are you going this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Shall I tell you them? Let's hear them. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. I can cook. You can cook anytime and anywhere. All you need is a pot with a lit fire, okay? Do I take pots with me? One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Save these parts as materials for elixirs, just like the last game, right? Mm -hmm. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternate way to warm your body or recover stamina. First step in all case, cases to start a fire. Teach me about fire then. I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to a bundle of wood and strike it with the metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is best to internalize the basics first. That's all I can tell you. Take care. Okay, but where's the pots? I want a pot. Yeah. Okay, everyone. <laughs> My dad's trying to find a pot. Oh, there's, oh, there's a, a pot, pot right there. Uh, a metallic. Something. So, do we have a metallic? We have a master sword. I think so. Here we go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, let's do that. We like using stuff. Oh, yeah. we'll put it away. All right, let's cook some stuff. It's so satisfying when you fuse stuff or. Or the other thing. It's so satisfying. It's a fruit that generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and s stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Should we cook one and see what it does? Yep. Cook. <laughs> My first cook. <laughs> Scorching simmered fruit. Grants a low level attack enhancement in hot places. Only in hot places? The sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits, by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmered until tender. Okay, interesting. So that's our first cook. Uh, let's make some stamina. Energizing mushroom skewer. Okay. Um, I like this game a lot. It is nice. There's some elixirs. What does this do? An ancient. Lively fish hasn't changed much since ancient times. It can restore a bit of health. Okay. Dad, go up. Go to the wood and then go up all the way up. And yeah. look, there's a battery on the top. Oh yeah, it's a Zonai charge. Fuse attack power, a material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Use it to recover a small amount of power for Zonai energy cell. Okay, so we can add, so if it runs out, then we can add it to our energy cells probably. What else do we need to cook? Let's cook five of these. Hot 
weather attack grants a low level attack enhancement in hot places. Interesting. Very interesting. New discovery! Yeah? <laughs> a captain construct horn. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power. Um. Uh, I'm trying to see my face again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's just a mushroom skewer. Some. Cook some meat. Meat skewer. Make something new, like cook. Cook like. Mm. We need something hot to keep us warm. Mm. What do we have? Seed that soften you'll take root and bloom, giving off a faint light. Bright bloom seed. Huh. Could just be a singer. Hot weather attack. Should we cook one of these seeds? So yeah, what if they make a book of one of these? Probably. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just a simmer fruit. They probably will. Make a book that we can follow. Yeah. Okay, so there's the cooking pots. We learned what the cooking pots are. And they look a lot different. Click that. And I learned that there's actually the vine ones. Yeah. Because in in a trailer I saw I saw um Champion and Link working uh -huh. together to fight something. Ooh, look at this track here. We'll see Prince Sidon and uh, Riju. And much more other champions. And there's mm -hmm. actually already champions. There's a baby to choose to you can make them bring the two trains. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Choo choo. Little stinker. Jump down, see what happens? No. No, I better not. Let's keep following the path, because we gotta get, where are we? We have to go, we have to go um, get the, shr the, the shrine right there, then we'll go back to the temple. Yeah, we gotta go back, we gotta go this way. So, what? Wait, go back to the map. Down. Go back to the map. Um, so... Wait, never mind. Cause I thought, cause I go. thought the track would lead over there. Right. We're gonna go up here. See what these tracks go to. But I'm leading away from it. I need to be going the other way. Oh, it's that platform. We'll go to the top. We'll go see what's going on up here. Look, there's some Zonai devices. That means we can make carts right here to go through. Which way do we want to go? Ooh, there's a fire. some stuff at us, probably. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Ah! So damn it. All right, let's battle. Let's find the best weapon. Let's do that one that we've created so far. Let's just keep that one. What about... 
Select a material to attach. Oh, shoot. You should drop a weapon and attach it to it. Eat something. Fuse materials. Um, Destroy the, the log club because it's not that useful. The log club. I'm going to keep it. We're going to drop this. Yeah. And this. So you have. So we can have this. Pick up this. And go get this. Opal. First opal of the game. Oops. It's getting darker. darker. No. Should we go sit by the fire? Yeah, let's go sit by the fire. I wonder if there's blood moons in this game. Oh, I'm sure. Do you remember? It showed a blood moon in the trailer. No. Oh, it did. Probably be seeing Ganon. Somebody, whoever the Demon King is. I think that's the one that you just met in the... In the, in I the think first? The, yeah, in the first. I think, I think that's the Demon King. Some arrows. A lot of arrows here. Let's go on a cart ride today. All right, let's go build a cart. So we've got to use Ultra Hand. It up. This is just like a magnet. Yeah. But so you hold that R button and you can turn it. Um this way? No. I gotta fix that. And I just break the circle like that and it breaks. Should we put one on the side just for fun? <laughs> Let's put another one on the other side so we can eat it. I wonder if you can fuse the carts together. Yes, you can! <laughs> fuse together. Construct of you. A mining construct, of course, because you're in a cave. Yes, of course. This cave is especially dark. You'll need a light in order to proceed to the mining side ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Of course we do. Yeah. Uh you don't know of them? The glowing flowers. There are the glowing flowers, there are bright blooms. The sh they shine very brightly. Many use them as illumination in dark places. 
These bright blooms grow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them. That's because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. I'm posted here to provide a reminder to bright, bring bright bloom seeds. By the way, did you know bright blooms require a stimulus to blossom? Striking a blight, bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow uh, will cause it to activate on impact. Oh, that's cool. Bright bloom you see growing there is no different. I caused it to blossom. It will generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. Okay. Let's pick that flower. It's already picked, so it's growing, so it has to stay there. So it can only go a certain <gasps> distance. Try it. Mm -hmm. See how these work. Gold drop. <laughs> Look at that. It plants and then it brightens up. That's cool. Well, Man, that's that hard break. to break. Zonite. What is a z zo zonate? Zonite. Fuse attack power. An unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. Wow, there is so much crazy stuff that you can get in this game, huh? I know. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's one of those things. Those bullfrog. Things that has bloopies. Bloopies. Cool frog bloopy. I want to. Can we get the. Bloopy? That's like a Majora's Mask. That's what that's reference to. Get the. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, it's a bloopy. Is Gym. Can I shield, sir? I can still shield, sir. There's another. Ooh. There's two constructs. Let's talk. What? Oh, look, we're mining. Yep, we are mining. Excuse me. That zonite is already slated for processing. It would be it would pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. Zonite? Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? Yes, I am. This is the zonite I mentioned. It is a unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well. They are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Zonite is a process is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Well, let's see what you process for me. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. <gasps> Those are the Zonite charges. Zonite technology is... 
is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Which one is this kind of Charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Do you need anything else? Crystallized charges are a solidified form of zonite charge. We mainly use them as raw material in the construction of energy cells. Please visit any time you require processed materials. Cool. I love this game. Can I purchase them? Oh, because I need... How many do you require? Take them all? And pieces of zonite. It's a deal. I'll process the zonite later. The resulting materials will be available to you once processing is complete. I knew those would come in handy. I'll take them all. Oh, you don't have enough zonite. Three, six, nine, twelve. Oh, four of them. Okay. Get Zelda in the Temple of Time, right? Yeah, we don't want to do that. But first, we gotta do the shrine, and then maybe next time. Next Danger! Danger. I'm sorry, buddy. Just helping you out. This game previously had ample resources. It is gradually yielding less and less. That is why I require support, but my requests have so far gone unanswered. I must therefore continue to mine without, re without resting. I'm sorry. All right, let's put a, uh... I'm so cold. It's so cold down here. Oh, it is a little cold down here, isn't it? Ooh, what are these? Oh, I have not given permission to take those. Mining construct. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? Zonai capsules? There's so much stuff to remember. I can't remember all this. You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. I don't really. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Oh yeah, Zonai devices. They're just the fans. Oh. So we have three fans, so we can take three fans with us. Just in case they come in Once handy. Once I give you were fan types, you can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I give you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. So it's in a capsule can't put it back in. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Okay. Okay, that's good to know, buddy. Okay, time to do a new cart ride. Oh, man. So that means we've got to deploy one of them to go up the cart here. All right. Stuck that together. Right there. Put together. Oh, that's what that last thing is, is Zonai devices. This is what we can use to help create. Take out of device. Ow. Okay, there it is. Should we put two just for, just for some, some more fun? I'm gonna put it right there. Because we've got to be careful, because we don't want to waste them all. I only have three of them. Because I can't put them back and take them with me. And hit! And off we go. And we also want to be careful. So we don't go too fast. Look at all that below me. What is that down there? I don't know. That's cool. Up, 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 up
Oh, there's Raru. Hi, Raru. Oh, is that Zonai devices right there? Like it. What's up, Raru? Ah. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening, okay? Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Mm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of its bell stir fond memories in me. Does that mean they go to bed? Um, we haven't slept in like two days. No, where is the temple? Right there. Temple is all the way over it's there. All the way over there. We're we're on the other side of the map. So you might have to travel there. Well, that's the temple right there, done. Yeah, that's the temple. The temple. Yeah, the temple. Can we travel the there? The temple. <laughs> it's not called the Temple of Time. It's called the Temple Damn. of Time. All right, steward. Are you a steward? What construct are you? It's a maker. Device dispenser. Operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? Sure. I have nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. Device dispenser? Yes, it's a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct horns and Zonai charges. Oh. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. Should I explain Zonai capsules too? Sure. Wow. I can't keep track of all this. I this know. Is... I don't even... I don't even remember um, the blue things that we just found in the cave. I can't remember their name. Because all know. this stuff. Ugh. Zonai capsules are portable Zonai devices in convenient pocket form. Device cannot be put back into its capsule after you have removed it. They are intended to be disposable. They are also plentiful. You can extract many Zonai capsules from a single device dispenser. There's no harm in converting your spare resources into Zonai capsules. It ensures you will always have a few. If I've lost track of time, it seems I've even missed the time bill. I will suspend my activities for now. Dispenser remains available to be used. Bye-bye. <laughs> And they go. Should we see? <laughs> that looks cool. That's what we Well, let's try the dispenser. What do we need to do? Just drop something in there? Uh, let's try these. Put in. A flame emitter, a Zonai device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. A portable pot. We can take the pots yes. with us. Okay. A Zonai device for cooking food almost anytime, anywhere. It lasts for cooking one recipe only. Oh, really? Just one? The device is easier to use on flat surfaces. Really? Fan and a fan. What? We have. What if I put an apple in? What does that do? Uh, no. Apple. Like I don't want your apple. Put something monstrous. Uh, let's see what this does. Hmm. Uh. Nope. 
Well, it gave us Construct Horn, Zonai Charge. Let's put it in a Zonai Device Dispenser or use it to recover a small amount of power for a Zonai Energy Cell. Okay. So this is what, okay. This is what we need to put in the dispensers. So these are dispensers, like gumball machines. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a lot. Nice. And you got more portals for pots. Yeah, I'm going to do a few more here. Wow, we're gonna be creating like all the time. <laughs> yeah, this game is all about creating people or Oh, we'll save people. <laughs> this Zonai, they're kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> All the main characters. And don't forget everything. Wow, so we could do all these Zonai devices. So it's a portable pot for you cooking food. Anyway, it lasts for cooking one recipe only. Really? Then you have 14. It's easier to use on flat surfaces. And there's the fans. You need to get some, you need like a hundred of those portable pots so then you can cook a hundred meals. hundred meals, yep. Either that and then we can use just the regular pots, right? Mm -hmm. It's likely that the Zonai made smart use of this wind power. Okay, what is this? It's a flame emitter, so that just shoots flame. A Zonai device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. Wow. Okay. I like this game a lot. It's very fun and it's also interesting. And interesting. That's right. That's what I love about games. My favorite games are like, like The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, um, hmm. Super Mario Odyssey. What is this? I need to reach my friend. That's a Korok! Yeah. That's a Korok! This is the first Korok I've seen. Korok! This is awful. Where's yeah. my friend, huh? You can see me? I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. Heck yeah, we found 900 of your brothers and sisters. Maybe I found you. In a time past. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. See over there? So we gotta figure out a way to get over there. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. Can you see the smoke signal? I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired though, I can't move. Here, I'll bring them to you. Oh. What should I fuse them to? <laughs> nice. Okay. Can I take this guy? The cart. Don't forget the cart. Have we been over here yet? No. We need to get over. Okay, we just went to the dispenser. Should we send him across the way? Yeah. What should we do? So I think we should put them in, in, in into the cart and then. And send him up there? Yeah, and then we can go with him, so then we can control the fans. Uh, okay, let's go get a cart. A cart right there. A cart right there. And a fan and a fan. And... And then I think he, he got up and he got in. Can we have some fun? Right there. Let's make. Look. We're gonna be crafting a box. Are you making the pets we don't? I don't know. 
Just kind of, we're just kind of experimenting and exploring here. Uh, let's practice our rotation skills. That maybe like right there. And, and then, then ooh, let's make a ceiling. This way, this way, and then flatten it, and this way, this way. Yep, that's what I want. Yep, and I told you to do that. There, and you told me to do that. Can I climb it? I should be able to climb it. And then you can stand up there when the part's moving. Look at all the stuff we're building. No, this is fun. We could make all. We could make a super crazy contraption here. Yeah, we could like, we could like glue stuff together. And okay. We can do some crazy Let's glue. things. Let's glue. Let's glue two. On like on the side of. The <laughs> Put you right there. Boo! <laughs> 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 That's funny. All right, let's go get a fan. <laughs> let's go across. <laughs> Don't mind me, but I'm just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Put that right there. We know that. Should we put the fan up here? Okay. Oh no! We're smashing him. Come here, guy. Bring you over here. Where's my friend? Right here. Reunited at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Korok seeds. Two of them. We get Korok seeds. Yay! I guess we just have to... If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what might happen. So we're finding Korok seeds. Yeah. So we're probably helping the Koroks. If we see them, we should probably try to help them. And if they say anything. energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. Oh. Okay, we're just starting to learn a little bit, huh? We're starting to learn about this game a little bit. What time is it? Oh, it's almost seven. We need to go eat some dinner. Yeah, no, we'll be back tomorrow, you guys. Don't worry. We'll get to the temple soon. Probably in the next episode. Yeah, let's see what's going on up here. What's this? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a card. <laughs> it's upside, upside down. down. It looks like a music. So, I like just to click it once and then it tells you to go wherever you want. What do you mean? Uh, ooh, we're gonna get cold. Oh. Look, it's gonna fall off. Oh. So we better not do that. We better get back over here. Lift up and rotate upright. Okay, we're getting it. Come here. <laughs> it's hard to oh, whoops. Oh, sorry. 
gonna hit you. No. Uh, let's go see what's in these boxes here. Ooh, it's a cricket. First cricket. It's How many arrows we got? 44 arrows. A cricket, cricket. Right, fan. <laughs> um, to attach this one. There we go. I have an idea. There. I have an idea. What? What's your idea? So we can. So we can that on top of the car, uh -huh. and then we can stand on that platform right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna go back over this way. This is a great construction because if you like, if you're holding something and and you need a lot of stuff, then you can put it in the cart and you can stand right there. Oh yeah. Smart. You know that. Let's see what's over here. Well, then. this is where this is this is where he was. There's another cave system. Let's go over here because. Should we see if it gets cold right here? Yes. And then. The temperature's getting dangerously low. Find warmth sooner, you'll take damage. Yep, we know that. So will this do? Anything? Actually, because we took. Um, I've got an idea. And we're, oh. And we're gonna do it when we come back. So me and Amy are gonna go eat some dinner. Yep. Peace. Peace. Whoa. See you next time. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to fix the camera so you can be on the camera too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We'll have to get some good. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll all come back after dinner. We'll come back after dinner. And we together. Okay, we're back from dinner. Me and Emmy. Yep. See if she can be a part of this a little bit more now. So, all right. Where do we leave off? We uh, are by the dispenser. And, and we're getting we in the cold. To get to the other shrine. Mm -hmm. You have to go through that cave. Because my sister Reagan. I know, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. So don't tell me what to do. Oh, there's some peppers. Okay, we're good. We're good today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll Guys, in the get. last episode, did you hear me say cricket the cricket? <laughs> You're weird. You're funny. I'm the funniest child in my family. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got some red peppers, some cool peppers, so some hot peppers. Yeah, some hot peppers, whatever they're called. So we have to go. So now we gotta go cook them. Yeah. Find them somewhere. We have to get to the last train, and we have to get to Princess Zelda's. Yep, we gotta get to Princess Zelda. Alright, let's go. Zelda. Let's go in the cave. In part one, in part one, well, Ooh, there's some more peppers. When we found, when we found a guy, that, when we found a guy, right there, that guy right there, um, Let's see what he has to say. It's a ranger construct. Excuse me, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality, may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Fortified how? Insufficient preparation can lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can advert this. Please listen carefully. Primary safeguards used by our creators were meals that warmed them. These meals were typically prepared using ingredients with... Warm-sounding names, any such ingredients will suffice. 
Some also wore thick clothes or warmed themselves by a fire. These solutions were effective but less accessible. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. My understanding is that only one cooking effect can apply per meal. You must take care not to eat something with different effect afterward. The chill will set in again sooner than you expect. So guys, in part one we met that guy, but it's not like that guy, not the ranger. But we did meet another one that looked like that. Mm-hmm. And it said we had to find Princess Zelda in the Temple of Time. So we had to get three shine. It didn't work when we put our hand on the door. So we had to have three shine shrines and then go back to the Temple of Time and work again, okay? Yep. That's where we're at. Yep. There's Emmy's recap where we're done so far. Yep. <coughs> Everyone does that on YouTube, Dad. I know. Everybody does a recap. Just like that. Nice. There's some fusible rocks. Okay, we're going to make some hot peppers. Some hot peppers. Where's the peppers? Let's do... And make sure to get the fire berries. <laughs> Seven minutes. Okay. Let's do another one. Another seven minutes here. Seven minutes. So we have about 15 minutes worth of cold resistance. Unless there's some other hot peppers or warm things close by. Yes. We also have to get the hot peppers. All right. Let's see what's up, what's up here. Oh, bats. Um. Keys. What is that called again? Keys. What's that? Keys. Oh, keys. I thought they were called A keys. A keyswing, keys eyeball. Oh, there's some more peppers. I know why they're growing in this cave. Ooh, what's that noise? Is that the bright bloom seeds? Is right there. I'll go right there. What's that? Anything? No. Nope. Okay, we're snowing up. Okay. Hurry, eat. Let's eat us a meal. What do we got here? So that are key items. Ultra hand. Stick them to other objects, attach them to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the vision. But... Okay, so we got three more powers to get. Yep. We got and I already cell. know the third one. I know. Don't tell me. Okay. Don't spoil it for me. Okay. I'm just, I'm just bad at spoiling. spoiling. Yeah, I know you're bad at spoiling. All right, where's my meals? Let's it's sort just hard those. for me not to... Not to spoil the new Mario movie. What? Can I just say something? The Mario movie? You can spoil the Mario movie. I don't care. I'm just scared to say that. It's embarrassing. Yeah. On camera! Okay. We're at the pit cave, pit cave. And we're almost there. So we need to go there. Ooh, what is that? It looks like an oogie boogie kind of circle. Maybe it is. Tell everybody what the Oogie Boogies are. Oogie Boogies are Koroks. We just call them Oogie Boogies because they're Oogie. <laughs> you called them Oogie Boogies one day when we first started playing, huh? So we made fun of you, and then we liked it. Yeah, and we call them Koroks <coughs> and... I thought that was... I thought... Um, that was a penguin. There's Raru. Let's see what he has to say. The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I am terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. That's all right. Guess they just what, give Raru? Us... <laughs> the Demon King is now alive. Uh-oh. He's in there. Oh, this is constructs. 
Ooh, there's a fire pot. Cooking pot. Get the shrine for that focus. Oh, wait, where did you see the shrine? There's the shrine right there. How are we gonna get over there? Oh, oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Dang it. Forgot. Don't have the paraglider yet. I wish we did have the paraglider. <sighs> that would be super nice if we had the paraglider. Yes, it would be. Just so you know that I think Link lost the paraglider from the Breath of the Wild. From the king. Link, Where are you at? serious? Oh, they're searching. Ooh, what is that? Just go by here. Six more minutes. Stab. Ooh, there's choo choos. Choo choos. Frozen choo choos. Where's the keys? Oh no! I knew that was gonna do that. Oh, it helped you. Nice. It helped you. Sure did. But it definitely hurt you. White choo choo jelly. Now what? Oh, it's just one of those dragon things. Okay, we're gonna fuse. Okay, let's figure out how to fuse this. Oh, because I gotta go to. Oh, wrong button. And water. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, no, you can keep warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, now I'm warm. Cool. Whoops. Discovery. Bottomless cave. Just wait till you see what monster. Is. What? Are you spoiling it for me again? Uh, Ooh, a bomb flower? No way. That's another new item. Um, a dangerous I... flower that contains explosive elements. Does not mix well with fire or electricity unless the goal is to blow things up. Yeah. Uh, we might need those. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, I just can't hold them in! I'm gonna have to send you upstairs if you keep blowing the game for me. Sorry! Every, everyone else. I'm sorry, everyone. I won't spoil you anything. Oh, come on. I'm covering my mouth. Cover your mouth. Yep. And let's get this. I'm um, not going upstairs. Use that. <laughs> We want to hit that. And... Okay, this is just bottomless, huh? Okay, we probably need to go up this way. Some cold resistance still going. Ooh. Did Reagan even go over here? Yeah, she did. Shatter amber? Yeah. Cause it's like a shatter of an amber. Uh oh. Oh dear. What is that? Figure it out yourself. Oh, I'll figure it out. Oh geez, we're gonna use this guy. Something. What should we fuse? Oh, that didn't do nothing. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, this guy. Shoot. 
try the light. Reagan do it with a bomb. Yeah, she did. With a bomb. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a rusty halberd. Get that thing. This a like like stone. A like like stone. A strange round stone from a like like. Yeah, that is a like like. Made of crystallized inner fluids. It's good ingredients for elixirs. So probably a lot of monster parts, huh? Mm -hmm. We're gonna go fuse something to this to make it stronger. i got to turn my chair this way, though. I'm so Are you happy. still in the camera? Yeah. But, <laughs> but my chair keeps scooting me out of the camera. Yeah. Gotta get you over just a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. We'll have to figure out a better camera placement. Yeah, so I can be in the camera too. We should put it up. We should, we should duct take it up, up oh, yeah. there so we can see it. Okay, we're getting taller and taller, getting more bombs. Uh oh, it's another like like. How come it's called a like like when it's me? I don't know, there's going to be a fast way to... Okay. Construct though is badly damaged. Yeah. What? Did you know on the shrine where, where you get the... Where you get the... Uh-huh. What happened to the bomb pad? Oh yeah? Yeah, I tried it. Because I died and I couldn't do it. So I just three so I just hurry and I'm up there and I didn't have to take it. Okay, will you die already? Oh there we go, good. Okay, that's getting a little better. Like like stone. Opal. Opal. What's in this one? Ooh, a flame emitter. Nice. I like those flame emitters. I know. Okay, nice. we gotta hurry. Is our cold resistance gonna run out? Ooh, the shrine's at the very top right there. Gotta get up. Got another food item to eat that'll keep us warm. Ooh, can I climb up this? Let me see. Oh, it's slippery. Icy vertical surfaces. Well, how do I get up there? Don't tell me. I don't know. I didn't see too big and do it. Let's see. Ooh, I wonder if I could use my fan to float up there. Hmm. Oh, but I can use one of these. The cold reasons. Hot weather. That's the cold. I want to try a cooking pot <gasps> because. Yeah. So over, over. Take out device. Hey guys, Press and hold. whoever's watching this, look in the background. See if you see anything different about our background. Ooh. Oh, our background? Yeah, our background. Do I have to light it on fire? No, there's already a fire. Okay, so we're gonna do 
three, and cook. <laughs> what happens to that? And it disappears. Okay. Good, the we're gonna do that. The sun's coming out. That means it's getting, it's gonna get warmer. Okay. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Emmy's off to bed. Night. Love you. Mwah. Say, go, Link, go. Go, Link, go. <laughs> you shut that door when you go? Yep. Thank you. All right, let's do adjust a few things here. Be right back. Let's hit pause. Okay, we are back, everybody. Emmy's off to bed. She's my Zelda partner in this, so we'll probably be seeing a lot of her as we kind of play along. So uh, she's always fun. We've been playing Breath of the Wild forever since day one. So she's kind of grown up with it, and now she's really into Tears of the Kingdom. So anyways... Where are we? We got to get up top somewhere. Do I have to build a flying contraption, maybe? Um, shoot. Let's look at our map here. So I'm right there. That's the bottomless cave. Hmm. What can we do? Hmm, interesting. Is there anything? There's a log. Okay. Here we go. We're going to chop this tree down. Right there. Oh no. Uh, we need to use ultra hand. We're going to go use. Oh, that's not very good, is it? About that. <laughs> it's not very pretty, is it? Unstick. Um. We're going to use a fan. Drop. CX, okay. Right there. We're going to try some here. We're going to stick a fan right there. Uh, is that right? That's gonna push it down. I gotta detach. Um, that's what I want. There we go. Bring this down a little bit. Okay. Um. Two more. Yeah. 
Down you go. Okay. Uh, and rotate, 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 rotate. Go right there. And the last one. Guys, this is my first thinking outside the box moment here. Let's see if we get fruits from our labors here. Um, we're going to try to make this float up. Bring this whole thing right there. And hit. Oh no. Shoot. Dang it. Uh dang it, dang it. Yeah, I'll shut off. Charging up? Yeah, you are. Um, okay, let's chop another tree down. Dang it. Okay, I need you. Um, ultra hand. Get the of all this. Attach that. Put your hand. Going to attach that. Put your hand. Attach. Okay. Please work. Are you serious? Uh, did not work. Dang it. Oh well. That's what this game's all about, right? You try. You try and you try. Man, I'm getting low on weapons here. Use the master sword. <laughs> Guess you can't lift the logs. Hmm. What's going on up here? I wonder. More amber. Gotta get up there. Are there constructs up here? I hope they're friendly. I'm running out of weapons here. Oh no, death, that's where I just was. <laughs> okay, I gotta figure this out. Do I have to walk up on this side over here somehow? Do I have to go back in the bottomless pit, bottomless cave? Probably very, very cold. Let's go investigate over here. Dang it. I'm running out of cold resistance.
No, it's the... Let's get that. Let's fuse. A rupee? Nice. I like doing the bullet time there. Is there some more hot pepper somewhere? Yep, right there. Let's go grab them and cook them up. Why we're here, because it might take a minute for us to figure out how to get on top of that shrine. You know, I played Breath of the Wild so many times, and I just know it inside and out. This is kind of cool, not knowing where to go or what to do. I know I need to get up there, but I knew all the tips and tricks and how to get in and out, and this is the very first time. This is the purpose of this video, so I can go kind of relive that that whole magic. So, um kind of fun figuring out for the first time. More cold resistance. All right, here we go. It's the Temple of Time. It's not the Temple of Time. The Zonai Temple of Time. All right, what do we got over here? Anything? No? Am I? Uh, I gotta get on top of this shelf somehow. Hmm. There, I need my paraglider. Don't worry, we'll get it. Probably just wasting time going over this way, but. <laughs> Gotta go explore. I'm trapped down here now. Are you kidding me? I can't climb these slippery surfaces. Oh no 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 no! no. Uh. Dragons, they just kind of hang out in the air, don't they? Probably just going to have to go all the way down. Climb back up it again. Stop. Alright, what's over here? Gotten here. Hmm. Okay. The Zonai charge. I'll fill that up. It's right there. How do I get up there? 
thinking I've got to work myself all the way back around to back up the um, climb up that way. Is that where I came from? No? Let's go across there. Ah, too high. Dang it. It's all right, though. It's all ready to go. All these confirming raft and Zonai device operational status. Ah, pardon my rudeness. Do you require a raft? I do. The ones by the riverbank are ready for use. The Zonai device has also been inspected. Zonai device? Well, the Zonai device, the one I'm inspecting, is known as a fan. It activates when struck to generate wind on demand. The river is melt water falling into it quickly sap your stamina. It's for this reason that I maintain rast across the other bank. I should mention that energy is essential for using a Zonai device. Yep. I need an energy cell. Yeah, 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 I got those. Let me review how it works. Yep, we know. Okay. Let us cross. I wonder if I should have got anything over here before I came. Oh well. Okay, two minutes. Alright, let's climb this thing. The bottomless cave. That's where it was. There, there. Let's see if we can work our way around here. Maybe up through here and through here. Give it a go. And we need some stamina. Wonder if there's hearty foods again. Hope there are. We can just keep using our pots if we need to. They do come in handy. Okay, we're getting up there. I think we're working. Okay. Just don't get these ice walls. Is this where I was before, though? I don't know. Let's just keep going. Oh, well, this is where I was. I just made it back right here. How do I get... Climb up this way. No. Oh, come on. You know, my daughter, other oldest daughter, she really likes this game too. But she doesn't care about all the storyline. She just goes on and plays it forever and and so she's been playing it and it took her two seconds and I think she's already past this. I have no idea how she got up there. I'm supposed to be the master one here. Huh. Do I have to create something to get up? Hmm. It stinks. I keep running out of cold resistance. Hmm. Get to the bottomless cave. So that's where I was. Do 
I need to get back over here instead. Go all the way around. Because I'm stuck right here. I can't go up anymore. So I went right here. Drop down, drop down, drop down. It was right there. Waterfall to the earth. <laughs> I have no idea. We're gonna go back where we came from, I guess. Okay, can I create anything though? Can I climb that? I can climb that. Okay, that's what we're climbing. If I need to create some stamina, use my pot. How much stamina? Stamella shrooms. Where are you at? Did I already cook it? Oh, I did. Oh, nice. Oh, we're gonna make it easy. We are going to make it. Hey, right here. Uh, we can do some rush rooms too, maybe. Hey, I'm glad I noticed this. What's that noise? Is it the... Success. We did it. Was it right there? Dude, we made it. Let's go get the last one here. I bet you this is a send. Gutenbach. Shrine. is in there. It's glowing. We shall. Oh. Shall investigate that when we get out. Alright, let's do this. Watch a few of these animations until we get used to them and then then we can start skipping them a little bit. Let's do it. I wonder if that was the way, the intended way. There's probably not a lot of intended anything in here. But however we did it, we did it. We're in. Okay, Raru. Oh, so you've made it here. Now then extend your right hand. Lay it on me. Comes the Sheikah teardrop. Now the Zonai source. Yep, it's a sand. Ascend. Move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it. Hmm. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use ascend and receive the blessing from this shrine. Okay. Let's ascend it up. The ability to rise. That is our clue. All right. Uh, Let's 
Okay, we're gonna go from right there to right there, I betcha. Anything here, though, that's important? Okay, here we go. That's sand. Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna use these stairs. Go up higher and higher. Let's do the long one. Go, 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 go. Okay, construct. Oh, shoot. I need... Ooh, I can throw those things, huh? Gotta get used to that. Okay. Probably letting this down. Send up through there, there, and get up there. Easy peasy. We can do this. Got an itch in my ear. Uh, okay. There we go. Let's see here. Cut and cut. Okay. Wonder if that's to replace Rivali's Gale. That was very useful in the last game. It was crazy useful. And wait till it returns back. Here we go. And right there. Dude, we did it. Except, is there a treasure chest in here somewhere? Guta box shrine. I want the chest, though. Zona and the Hylian waiting for me. I think it's a Hylian. Can you descend? Oh well, let's finish it. So I want to go see what Zelda has to say. Why is she trapped in there? You have done well to reach this place. It does look like a Hylian. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Do I get all the evil taken out of me now? Are these orbs called light of something? Hmm. Light of blessing. Light of blessing. A crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Okay. May the light of blessing grant you strength you seek. I like this music. That's pretty cool. And off you go. Where did these Donai runes just pop up out of? Did they fall out of the sky? Did they raise up from a dormant state? I hope we learn a lot about it. Okay, lay it on me, Rauru. Rauru. I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. I sure did. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Okay, that's what the log is. I've always wondered that. It's the whole conversation if you want to read it. Closed door.
Find Princess Zelda. The yellow point. Rauru appeared after you visited the three shrines. He said that you've revitalized enough power in your new arm to enter the Temple of Time. The door will now open at the touch of your hand. Okay, let's go touch the door. There's the map, album, all the stuff that Zelda took. Okay. Oh, so now I can go use a send right here, baby. Heck yeah. Send it up. Deku tree ish. Zonai charge. Very nice. Ooh, the warm greaves, believed to be from a very long time ago, despite the old look. The heat retaining material makes it pleasantly resistant to cold temperatures. Well, we're going to put those on right now. How's my cold? Is that going to be enough? Hip. Okay. Let's go to the dispensary. Um, how do we get up there? I wonder if we can ascend. So until we get the paraglider, maybe Zelda will give that to us. And we can use that to get up to these other places that are Oh, hey everybody, here's Tatum. Come say hey, Tay. Mwah. Love you. Love you. Did you have fun at Brooklyn's? Yeah. Good night, love you. I guess you won't say hey. <laughs> Friday night tonight, the kids are getting older that they would like a... Ooh, I know what's going on here. Late nights now, so she kind of had a late night. It's only 9 o'clock. Well, actually, shoot, it is 10, but she got home about 9 o'clock. Okay, let's go to the dispensary. And what are you? Oh, it's Raru. You're flowing here. Okay, I think we're going to be able to fly here. Get off of this. It's a sin, though. Oh, wow. I landed right on top of that. A maker construct. My duties today are complete. Oh, this is a rarity. It's unusual for me to receive visitors here. I assume you'll require Zonai devices to descend the mountain. Would you like to use the device dispenser? Do you see the bull-like receptacle? Yep. It accepts resources such as construct horns and Zonai charges for processing. The altitude here is incredibly high. It is no easy task to descend the mountain. That is why I'm preparing wing-type Zonai devices. They are useful tools for making your descent. Zonai capsules are very convenient. They are a portable form of Zonai device that you can retrieve at any time. I suggest that you deposit resources in the device dispensing before proceeding. Let's do it. Um, how's our charges? Let's do them all. So this is a new one, a Zonai device, wing, that can harness lift to ride the wind to fly farther, try balancing on the center of the wing. Okay, let's do another one. This is pretty cool. Good old gumball machine. <laughs> Um, 
Uh, horns and horns. Captain Horn and the Soldier Horn. And the charge, but this doesn't... You know, that has many purposes. Ex ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for crafting of weapons and armor. Okay, So we use that to take to create these and then we can use these for the dispensary and these and these or you can use those as weapons as well okay all right sounds good uh yeah let's wait till morning Okay, good. I don't have to do anything more. Um, it's kind of like the snow quill. I don't have to eat any more red peppers or anything. Okay, well, I want to ultra hand this. How do these work? Oh wow. It just glided. Let's go visit Raru and he'll tell us about it. I think paraglider will get to we'll get to these here. Go up, down. Upside down. Cool. Love it. Good. All right, Raru, teach me. Let's learn some more. The Zonai devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. Oh. If you can master the use of the Zonai devices, your quest will be much easier. Okay. Can you tell me about these then? Push these. you. Oh, we're going. We're doing it. Let's save it though. So up, down, turn left, turn right. Wow. And in the middle. That is cool. I guess I could have tried to go over there. Go up. No. Well. There it goes. Nice. Let's go open up this door. See what all the secrecy is. See if Zelda's there. What happened to her? What did she learn? Is she turning Zonai now? Is she gonna create another new Hyrule? 
Oh, shoot. Go, 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 go. Ah, I forgot. Dang it. That's okay. So the first, she said the Zonai and the Hylians merged together. Something like that at the first. They're the ones that created the kingdom of Hyrule. Let's go find out. Ascend, Ultra Hand, and use. Temple of Time. But we are going to put our leg armor, our cake leg wear on as we do this. Got the master sword. Okay, here we go. And let's do it. Let us learn. What is going to happen here? Whoa. It scared me. The way that pounded in my earphones. <laughs> That's it, huh? That's a tear. It's like a tear. Wow. That is super pretty. What have we got? Let's do it. Examine. That's what happened to Zelda when she touched it. We getting a flashback? Zelda, it's you. You're all zonite up. <laughs> You're floating. Why are you floating? Seen in the trailer. Abilities. Where'd you? Oh, this is so confusing. So confusing. But I love it. That is awesome. Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Raru, what's going on, dude? Hmm. Ah, recall the ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. 
Uh, yeah. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. First thing I'm thinking of with recall. These turbines, these contraptions turning. Recall, make them go the other way. We can get on them and go for a ride and probably get some uh, different areas here, I betcha. That you've now been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. And then we're just back on our own again. Huh? Of course we are. And then stop. Okay. We're gonna go up there, then up there. Got it. Can do. Nope. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Stop. Oh, keep going. We're getting it. We're getting it. There we go. Told ya. Told ya. And stop. It's the goddess Hylia statue. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Stamina. Wait, what? Come on, I have three of those light of blessings. Hmm. Can of sand. Drop back, select back. My most used B. <laughs> Let's open. Let's do this. not enough the door stands as a test of your own overall vitality yes Raru mm. you remain in a weakened state you're not yet strong enough to open it but there is one more shrine on this island there you can get another blessing so I need four still and then we can get oh. that you add that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them all to the goddess. You might just find your way forward after all. Mm. Let me see the Pura pad. The Pura pad lets you travel to certain places instantly. Now you see all of the blue marks on your map? I do. You can travel instantly to any of them. I'd suggest the one at the bottom of your map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of this island's shrines around there somewhere. Right there. Easy enough. Okay. Map. So you can go there. Okay, so there's a device dispenser. In inventory. 
travel stamp so I did that one came over here did that one that was the third one the room of awakening it's where we all started so let's go try it out Great Sky Island. All right, that's where we were. Okay. Be right with you. Okay, we are here. We are back to kind of where it all started from, kind of. Oh, yeah, because I knew. I knew that. We're going to have to use recall to reverse this and go up that way. Oh, I'm the smartest man alive. Just kidding. You play Breath of the Wild as long as I have. Um. Ooh, let's do ascend. Let's do all of our new tips and tricks. Ooh, what is this? Map. We can just go to the map. Huh. Ascend. Up we go. Very nice. Can I just use the sand on that side? Nope. And call. Did it. Awesome, awesome. That one lead us to. Oh dear. There's the there's the shrine. Nachoya, Nachoya Shrine. All right, what's going on here? Talk to me, Construct. Steward, this is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystal charges and use them to produce energy wells. Um, energy wells? An energy well can increase the capacity of your energy cell you are carrying this increased capacity will allow you to use Zonai devices for longer periods, okay? Oh, those thingies. I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Should I begin production or would you like me to explain the crystallized charges? Get producing. Require at least 100 crystallized charges? Holy cow, I got some work to do. Return when you have collected a sufficient amount. One note regarding the zonite required to process crystallized charges. The mines on this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there's enough left to produce an energy well. But there's more to be had. Check the distant depths of the world below. That is its original source. Okay. On the surface. We can't find enough here. I think let's look at this so we can use this to create this or the energy cells the energy charges um, so we use that in the dispensaries or you can get the energy wells to come here to increase your battery for the Zonai devices. Wow, there is so much stuff going on in here. So much stuff. A like-like stone made of a crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient just for elixirs, okay? 
All right. Anything behind here? About out this way. Okay, this is where I can fly off into the sunset again. Very cool. And these sky islands. Pretty sweet. Um, so there are two other things that I don't have. I wonder what's going to be in this last one. I guess we can go kind of find out and see. Let's see what's up here first. Kind of explore this a little bit. Hey, birdie. Should we try a heat seeking key cyball? Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Raw bird drumstick. There, now I can zoom in. This is all the land of Hyrule. Is that the Hebrew region? What if I go... Like, clear over there, where does that get? Oh, that is way over there. So this is like the Great Plateau kind of area. This is like Lake Hylia-ish. So I wonder if we jump off here, if we go Lake Hylia. Oh yeah, because we were by that bridge um, right outside the Great Plateau when they jumped off this last time, but... What about, what about that island? There's These islands are just all across the map. Crazy. Delete. We don't need that one. Deku tree. Ooh, the Deku tree. You go to Korok Forest and see what he has to say. What is this? Oh. It's a Korok. You found me. You're not Hestu, but you see me. I didn't know someone like you could see children of the forest. Well, if you see Hestu, please return this to him. Are we doing this game again? Oh, my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too, so you should keep an eye out while you wander. There's Koroks, man. They are all over the place again. I guess we're Korok hunting again. Just... Nice. I like the Koroks. Yeah, I gotcha. Boom. Just arrows, and then you fuse it to whatever you have. I guess that's the name of the game. No fire arrows, no bomb arrows. Ugh. 
don't know if I like that, but that is different. So we're gonna play it. And we're gonna like it. It's gonna be cool. Hmm. Sorry, just exploring here, guys. We'll go get that last shrine. Just wanted to see some cool places around here. And we're gonna. We gotta go find some Koroks then. The first one. That is super cool. Alright. Let's go do this last fourth and final shrine. Hopefully, the fourth and final. And we can go open that door and see what all that's about. Okay, here we go. Room of Awakening. This is where I awakened. Open up. Yep. Nachoya. Nacho ya. Okay. What's this one, I wonder? So I bet you that I saw a little circle of stones like you'd find the Koroks uh, in Breath of the Wild. I saw it on the Sky Islands, so it's probably the Koroks again. The ability to rewind. Well, that's what Zelda gave us. So we're going to rewind everything. Okay. Like that. Hmm. I can stop time. Reverse it. Just see those bars go up and down. This one, yep. Now we gotta just get through. It's gonna go up when it's 12, yep. And then. that just when they cross paths? Yep. It's when they cross paths. Master. Okay, Ultra Hand. Send. Fuse. Rewind. You have done well to reach this place. Well, thank you. 
we offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Now we'll get some stamina, hopefully. Light of Blessing. Interesting name, that. Did you cleanse me of all my evil? Crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Except I'm probably going to need heart to open the door. May the light of blessing grant you the strength that you desire. Okay. That's our great plateau, I guess. Four shrines, four light of blessings. Three Korok seeds. Um, okay, this is where we come to get more batteries. Oh, let's go out here. Let's take the airplanes down. Oh, is it nighttime? The glider's down. I need a little ultra hand to pick up. Okay, we're gonna take off. Here we go. Nice. Turn. There we go. Now we can steer it a little better. Kind of. top of the temple here. Oh, it's kind of nerve-wracking. All right, here we go. Turn this way. Let's practice this a little bit. Uh-oh. What does that mean? What are we doing? No! Oh! I just died. The first time I died. No way! No, I was gonna go this whole game without dying. And that was it. Shoot. Depending on your heart, you can take damage. Yeah. Even die when you fall, so be cautious out there walking near cliff edges. Uh, that was fun. We're going to go do it again. Try to jump in the water. So you only do it for a certain set of time. Okay, let's glide away. And we're off. There's Death Mountain there. It's not going that cold spot though.
And we're jumping. Okay, so now I can steer. Fall in and we're there. Nice. Okay. Much better. Just don't drown now. Where'd my glider go? Somewhere. Okay. Let's do it. That was cool. It's going to be fun. Maybe I have to do that. Night or daytime, though. Let's make it daytime. Um, where is my bundle of wood? Okay, uh, drop and some flint. Where's my flint? Right there. Ah. Gotta get used to that too. <laughs> Sit until morning. Okay. Let's go do it. Let's do this. Let's finish this. Okay, here we go. Get the arrows. Got the morning daylight. Let's go reverse this. Let's go to this side this time. Um, recall. Recall that. And jump. Mm. It doesn't have to recharge. Recall that. There we go. Okay. Why are we black and white here? Oh, that's why. I had to stop it. Goddess Hylia. What have you got for me? How does this, how's this gonna work? You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. Yes, I have. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. Heart container, I can't do stamina, but I need a heart container to open that door anyways. You want a heart container? Yes, I do. I shall grant the power you seek. Our container rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom. Increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Very nice. I'm bringing it back, Ganon, whoever you are. Demon King. Go and bring peace to the world. Okay, let's go try this again. Okay. And we're pushing. We're pushing. Nice. The Zonai dragons. This is the trailer. Love it. Love it, love it. See you have managed to open the door. I have, Raru. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You were almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Oh, nice. I'm glowing. Though 
our time together has been brief. I am so happy that we finally met. Is that it? You are exactly as Zelda said. Thanks, Raru. Where's Zelda? I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. Wow. Zelda back with me? Is that her over there? I like Raru. Just give me more. Updated find Princess Zelda. Did, did I? Oh, I completed the closed door. Main quests. We don't have any side quests yet. After you offered four lights of blessing, the goddess statue purged gloom from your body. You're far from being restored to your former full vitality, but it was enough to open the door. Raru said he had, he had done all he could for Zelda and that now it was up to you. He then vanished, leaving you alone with the temple's final altar. Perhaps his parting words will soon be clear. Okay. Let's go see it. Let's go do it. Okay. Probably ascend. <laughs> Through that. Because I can ascend that if I need to. How about... Man, this is so... Oh. Get the butterflies being this high up. Going through trying to teach us what we need to do. to that sand go right through we did it final altar another sand huh So cool. That's going to be fun. What is this? I want to go up here first. Whoop. That's cool. I could just fall right off of that. Jump right into there. Some malice something or other. Can I look at it? Hmm, can't tell. Oh, I'm just... Get the heebie-jeebies up here. Okay, let's go do it. Salmon. Okay, become clear to me now. Please. Master Sword. You gonna restore it? So I can have it back?
Laundry Store. Zelda. Wow. Speaking to you again. Did she steal it? Did she take it? <gasps> What's going on? Uh oh. up to me, please. Link. There's a tower. Link. You must find me. I must find you. I will find you, Zelda. I am on my way. So are you not physically here? To the kingdom of Hyrule. Find Princess Zelda. Two main quests. The Temple of Time, you saw the Master Sword vanish into a mysterious light. A white dragon then rose into the sky, parting the sea of clouds. You're sure you heard Princess Zelda say, Link, you must find me. Head to the land below to look for clues to her whereabouts. There's no faster way to, way to do that than dive bravely from the Sky Island. Okay. What was... You didn't find Princess Zelda on the Skyland where you awoke. When you touched the light in the Temple of Time, you felt her presence. However, faintly as a voice rang out in your mind, Link, you must find me. Where is Princess Zelda? Was there anything more she was trying to tell you? Wow. Is that where I need to go? there. There's a big old box cube. Okay. Let us dive down. <sighs> Here we go. Geronimo. <laughs> okay. We're doing it. I gotta land in some water though. Sky Islands. Where's all that zone I? Where am I? Uh, okay, Zebra, there's the castle. It's raising up. Right there, where we're diving down, the Hyrule Kingdom. We made it, so let's not drown now. So that's above Hebra. Hyrule Kingdom, fantastic. Cool. 
Ooh, there's a stable, which we're gonna get to. Oh, just take it in, new kingdom. I rule here, wow. So good to be back. What is that tower? We're gonna go find out, so. Well guys, we're gonna stop it right there. Next stop, probably one of these stables. Go talk to some people. Follow some um, smoke signals maybe. Let's go explore, see if we can find some clues to Zelda, so. Fantastic game. Love the Sky Islands. I'm glad we're opened up to the world now. We're going to have some fun. So, until next time, peace. <laughs>